Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be creating a natural everyday makeup look using all affordable slash drugstore products. You guys have been requesting heaps and heaps lately for me to start doing, you know, one brand tutorials. So today we're going to be working with Rimmel to create a really nice glowing natural everyday makeup look. And there's lots of cheeky little tips and hacks in here for oily skin and also how to use, you know, particular products for multiple purposes so that you can save yourself money. So yeah, if you're interested in uh, learning about all of that then please keep on watching now I've already applied my base off camera because you guys have seen me do it a million times so I'm using the Rimmel stay matte primer and foundation if you do not have an oily skin type I would recommend the lasting finish foundation it's a really beautiful glowy one so yeah we're gonna pretend that I woke up with skin like this and moving straight onto the brows I'm going to be using the new Rimmel brow shake product this one comes in four shades so there are some really great options in there for different skin tones and hair colors now this is actually an incredibly revolutionary little product you actually have to shake it to coat the little wand in the powder that you will use to apply to your brows and I love how versatile it is you can get really really bold strokes or really light feather strokes with it so yeah for this one you have to really shake it up and then going into the brows you want to start with a very very light hand because it, the wand will pick up a lot of product if you go in with a heavy hand immediately now this product is so great for building up super bold brows so you can use a very very light hand on the inner you know head of the brow and then slowly add more pressure and more strokes on the outer portion of the brow to really build up the tail and yes that is a pimple in my eyebrow for all of you wondering I mean why would I get a pimple in my eyebrow why <laughs> So this one is actually a uh, sweat proof, transfer proof and waterproof. So you don't have to worry about your brows falling off during the day. I typically mix the two darkest colors. I love that the really, really dark one, um, you know, is really cool tone and I just brush it through with a spoolie and I am done. Now moving on to the eyes and this is my all time favorite trick ever. I actually <laughs> lately, it seems for everyday use, prefer to use contour shades, blushes and bronzers on my eyes instead of eyelids. I don't know, I'm busy in the morning. I don't wanna to have to grab, you know, like a million products out if I need to be at the door very quickly. And it's just easy to use, you know, one product over my whole face instead of having to, you know, grab different things out. So I start off with the bronzer on a very, very fluffy brush. And I work that one, um, you know, just through the crease. And then in the upper crease, I apply the blush. You can see how that blush is really warmed up, you know, that area. And it's kind of acting as a transition color. And then using a smaller, denser, fluffy brush, I'm going to start really working that bronzer through the direct crease crease just all around the eye I like to go for a really blown out kind of natural like I kind of woke up like this kind of slept in my makeup kind of thing um, but if you want it more precise and darker you can of course apply more product and then I just add the rest of the product to the lids with my finger and then a little bit smudge underneath the lash line and some highlighter and it's like super quick like you can you know get a whole eyeshadow look in like you know less than a minute using only one product like for me girl <laughs> I'm all about that in the morning <laughs> now this is another great trick for those of you who have smaller eyes like I do applying an actual eyebrow highlighter directly under the arch of the brow makes the biggest difference to the eyes it nearly works like instant Botox because it really pulls out the outer corner of the eye upwards and outwards and the brow as well and your whole face looks lifted it's amazing now I'm so excited to show you guys this mascara this is the new volume shake mascara this mascara has actually taken 10 years of research to develop can you believe that I'm such a little secret nerd as soon as I heard that I was like what so basically this is a water gel mascara and the shaking motion actually activates the formula and prevents it from ever drying out or getting clumpy you know how you know you might only use half of your mascara and then you have to throw it out because it's all dried up and it just gives you gross clumpy lashes well essentially the technology in this mascara prevents that from ever happening how cool is that and that it doesn't smudge so I've tested it on oily skin and I've also tested it through exercise there was no smudging underneath my eyes there was no transferring just make sure when you use it that you do shake it super vigorously you'll be able to hear the little mechanism in there moving around it kind of like clunks around and when you can hear that you know you've done it right it's just oh I love technology I love it <laughs> so I'm just quickly tight lining underneath my lashes now you're gonna be able to see the difference see how much thicker that lash line looks where I've tight lined compared to the other one definitely another really great trick if you're not really into you know heavy bold you know eyeliner during the day but you do want your lashes to look a little bit thicker it's just a really quick and easy thing to do so now I am doing some concealing and highlighting using the wake me up concealer this was in my top 10 favorite concealers you guys have heard me talk about this product a million times now this is not in any way you know like a super thick full coverage concealer it's a very natural everyday concealer and I like the fact that you can really pile it on like you can layer it up on layer it and it never gets cakey 
it's just really easy to use. And then to set everything in place, I'm using the Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Now, normally, you guys know, I would prefer to use a translucent one, but I smashed it. So pretend that this one is a translucent one, not the colored one. <laughs> and then using my Beauty Blender, I'm actually going to start pressing that translucent powder deep, well, not deep, you know, like super deep, but deep into the skin to really set that foundation in place. That is the absolute best way that you're going to get your foundation to last all day long. All right, now I'm just sort of contouring and warming up my cheeks with the bronzer out of the Rimmel Kate uh, blush trio thingy. I think that's what it's called. All of the products will be linked down below as per the usual. Um, I actually really like this one. I again have spoken about this product plenty of times before and has it has been included in plenty of favorite videos as well. Again, it's just really easy. You know, it's easy to blend. It's not like chunky and powdery and gross on the skin. Just easy. And when I'm like half asleep in the morning, I need like easy <laughs> easy products. <laughs> the highlighter in this one is also super pigmented and you know not chunky on the cheeks. It's just a really great product. Oh you know what also this highlighter doubles as an amazing eyeshadow all over the lid if you wanted like more of like a shimmery daytime look. Oh it's everything. <laughs> okay moving on to lips now and I had the hardest time deciding what lip color to choose. You guys I needed help. I am actually a self-confessed Rimmel lipstick addict and lip liner addict. If you've watched any of my other videos um, I always talk about the Rimmel Kate lipsticks they are amazing and also the lasting finish lip liners so I chose the uh, lip liner in natural of course Nikia goes for a nude lip I'm like so predictable <laughs> and then I paired it again so predictable with a pinky nude shade this is one of the uh, Rimmel Kate nude lipsticks this is from that collection so creamy so pigmented and so comfortable to wear all day so yeah that's it for the tutorial guys this is the finished look I hope you really enjoyed it and if there are any Rimmel products out there that you think that I really need, please let me know in the comments. I need to buy more makeup, obviously. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.